Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Jeff Brunsky, the Vice President of R&D at Trixon. Jeff, how are you doing today? Doing well. How are you? I'm all right. I'm at the PJ Show. Uh, this is uh, obviously one of the best days of the year for us golf nerds. Absolutely. Uh, we got the new Shrixon Q-Star Tour Golf Balls. Now, you guys have been obviously very successful with your Z-Star and Z-Star XV Tour Golf Balls. And now you're kind of bringing that technology to Q-Star, which I, gen I believe is supposed to be kind of for maybe a little bit lower swing speeds, but then still want that true performance. That's exactly right. So we've got the Z-Star, Z-Star XV. That's what's played on tour. Some of the longest golfers out there playing the XV. Yeah. Um, but the Q-Star is a little lower compression. Those of us with slower swing speeds or you know more average swing speed, just not monstrous yeah. PGA Tour type <laughs> swing right. speeds. This is a little bit better compression for us. It's going to have better feel, better launch conditions, but still give you a lot of control around the greens. Absolutely. So now let's talk about that fast air core. I know that's been popular for you guys. What does that do for golfers? Uh, we're talking about inside the golf ball. How does that generate that ball speed? Yeah, the, the fast layer core is almost like a thousands of layer core. So it goes from soft to firm within the same component. And what that means for you as a golfer is just that we can give you a performance of a firm core and a soft core in one golf ball. So you get a little bit of a, a double benefit there without making sure. a trade off. And now, obviously, you know, people golf, talk about golf balls, talk about spin. The spin skin technology from Shrixon, been successful, it's been refined a little bit. Uh, how does it work with Q-Star Tour? Yeah, so spin skin is a very thin, uh, high friction coating we put on the golf ball, and we've been making that for a few generations, but this one has a, a new material, new formulation that's really a pretty big leap forward to get a super flexible, super high gripping material to help you get that spin around the greens, get that ball to check. So it's a big deal, it's a big step forward, and it's the first time to put it on the Q-Star Tour. And now the dimple pattern, again, another discussion point with golf balls all the time. How did you guys decide on, I believe it's 338? Yeah, so a lot goes into dimple engineering and design decisions there, but I think the key for that dimple pattern is stability in the wind and low drag. So our golf balls, we like to joke that when you see it blowing out on tour or any of these um, global tours, if it's windy, you start to see the Srixon players doing yeah. well. The ball is very stable in the wind, helps distance, helps accuracy. Yep. And now, again, another talking point for golf balls, especially recently, has been the alignment aids on golf balls. Uh, you guys have refined it a little bit now at the Q-Star Tour. Um, what does it look like and how is it going to improve alignment on the greens? Yeah, so we figured, <laughs> if you can see it here, it's a little bit more of a distinct alignment line. It's not rocket science here. We're trying to develop something that people can see, can align appropriately, yeah. but also that people like to look at. So sort of a graphic design project and uh, this one came out the best. And now one of the things I'm curious about is how you guys test, right? Because I know with the Tour Golf Ball, you're going to be testing with your pros. How did you guys use, do testing with the Q-Star Tour, knowing that it's got the Tour uh, technology, but then again for like maybe a little bit lower, slower swing speeds? Yeah, so our, tour, our testing for a golf ball is you've got robots. You've got okay. ball machines that actually just launch the golf ball. We're doing friction testing, spin plates. So much of it is just internal within R&D. But then when we take it out, we want to validate it with players. We're just picking the target consumer. You know, we're yeah. finding mid-handicap players or better players with a little bit slower swing speed, getting their feedback and using it to refine and iterate. Jeff, great information here on the technology. Again, it's going to be wonderful for golfers out there in 2020.